Hi, this is a tutorial on how to connect any soundbar to your high definition 4K TV. Any soundbar, if it's 2.2, 5.1, 7.1, 4K or non 4K, I have a LG 5.1.2 soundbar that I have connected two extra speakers, Bluetooth, that, that you buy separately from LG to my soundbar. And this is how you connect it. I'll walk you through how to connect to your any type of receiver. This is a 4K receiver. And since I only had five, I have five products to connect via HDMI, my TV only has two and the soundbar only has one. So this is a better way than using a convert a um, switcher, right? Because since I have an Alexa box, the Alexa can't se can't separate when you tell it to turn on your TV, switch to input one, input two, input three. It probably would only turn on your TV and turn off. That's about it, right? So this is now connected directly to this. So let me walk you through on how to connect it. The first thing is you have to connect um you I have two ports here the red where the red cable is that's the arc this one is the HDMI 1 on the black one so you connect the HDMI 1 cable right you connect it and it's here in the back of the in the back of the soundbar on each on the arc see you connect it on the on the arc okay so hdmi so hdmi one to in back of the arc and then you connect the arc out of the tv cable that one you connect to the back of your receiver so going into here see arc in and then what you do is you connect all your other devices in the back like your cable box your blu-ray your game that's your video game and your video so that's how you do that. And even my Alexa Fire Stick is connected to it. That's what this one is here. See? So that's how you connect your um your soundbar to your receiver. And the only thing that the receiver is supposed to do is just doing like a switcher because you can't control nothing happens if you press any of the buttons here if you turn off the speakers or something like that because there's no speakers connected to the receiver this is like a hub and controls all your devices so you can switch back and forth like i see the volume somebody told me that the volume has to be at least 50. i don't, I don't know if that makes any difference but then if you toggle here see it switches to dvd Game, satellite, right? A video. So video is my Alex, my Fire TV. So see, it's working right now. This is y y YouTube. And let me show you that it, that it actually works. If I go to home, see, that's my Fire TV. And if I toggle one more, to show you my Blu-ray, DVD Blu-ray. It switched to DVD Blu-ray from what you see there. And it's gonna be my Blu-ray coming up. So let me turn it on, cause I think right now it's off the Blu-ray. Let's see while it comes on. So that's my Blu-ray player, see? So far, everything's working fine. My TV, I still have to um, 
tested because in the beginning, I guess for the new TVs, when you connect your direct TV, it asks you to set up your TV to find the city you are, put your zip code. Then it tells you what, what uh, service provider you have for cable. Then it will do it. So it worked in the beginning, but now I can figure out how to get it again. So it says here to resume play. So, and it should resume play from the movie. So I was watching. So yes, resume play. Or oh, actually, let me go out of here. And go to back to YouTube and I'll watch you a demo on a um, video. Shows you how the sound is and let me higher the volume a little bit higher. So I have my subwoofer here, my soundbar, and my two other speakers in, in the back of me that you buy extra to make it 7.1 surround sound. So that's my tutorial on how to connect my 4K TV to my 4K soundbar to my 4K Sony receiver. I hope you like this video and see if it works with you. Send me any comments on my channel.